One of the best ways to make your website stand out and be branded is by using custom fonts. And traditionally, using custom fonts has been kind of a pain in the rear end. You want to use it with your theme and your page builder. It's just not been easy until today. And I'm going to share with you how to add custom fonts to Beaver Builder and also the Beaver Builder theme and another theme as well. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you want to not miss anything, go ahead and click off to on the bell and YouTube will let you know when I have a new video. Everything will be linked in the video description box down below. Let's jump in. And new plugin just came out. It's called Custom Fonts. The only problem with being a plugin named Custom Fonts, you're going to see when we're trying to find it actually in WordPress, it's kind of a pain. Uh, but I'll show you how to find it and what this plugin is going to allow you to do. First of all, it's by the makers of Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder, and they also make the Astra theme. But they added a new update to this plugin that's going to allow it to easily be able to add custom fonts to whether you're using the Astro theme or the Beaver Builder theme. Also to Beaver Builder the plugin. Now if you're not using Astro or Beaver Builder theme, don't worry about it because you can still use the plugin. It will just make those fonts only available to the page builder. Okay, so that is it. Now if you are using Typekit, don't worry, you're not left out in the dust. They also have a Typekit version of this same plugin. It's called Custom Typekit Fonts and it's the same compatibility right there. So to save some time, I've already done the search here in my website for custom fonts. And the reason I had to put the word Astra is because check this out. If I just search for custom fonts, it's not going to pull up because it's such a kind of, you know, so many options here and <laughs> you can scroll down and you don't see custom fonts. So one of the safe ways of finding it, well, the Typekit one comes up. I wonder if it's going to come up on the next page. One of the fastest ways would be just to search for the word Astra, which is the theme, or just go ahead and type custom fonts Astra. I find that kind of funny. So let me go ahead and pop in Astra again. Okay, and here we go. So we have the custom Typekit fonts and we have custom fonts. Now, I just wanted to also add that this is gonna work with the free version of Beaver Builder, the free version of Astro Theme if you're using those free products, so you're not left out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Install, and I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add a new option underneath Appearance. So let me go to that now, Appearance, and then here it is, Custom Fonts. Now, before I do that, let me just go ahead and show you that I'm using the Astra theme, but I'm gonna switch to the Beaver Builder theme in this video. So first, let's go to Custom Fonts, and let's go ahead and create our first custom font. So the first thing is to go ahead and give it a name, and then we need to upload the custom font. Now, you can get custom fonts from lots of different websites. There's ones that have free custom fonts, and there's paid custom fonts that you can add. So I have one already downloaded on my computer. Now don't get overwhelmed in this step because what happens is right after you give it a name, there's all these different locations to upload files to and then you can think what is the best one for me. So ideally the they're kind of presented, there, there is some differences here, okay? The WOFF2 is the ideal one. It's the same thing as the WOFF, which has the widest compatibility. And when I say compatibility, I'm talking about web browser compatibility. We have many different web browsers with many different generations of that individual web browser. So the widest compatibility is going to be the WOFF format. However, the WOFF2 format is the same, but the font file is going to be compressed and smaller. Uh, a note on the EOT format, this is going to give you better compatibility with Internet Explorer and old versions of Internet Explorer. So if you only had the 
WOFF2, you're going to be okay for the most part, depending on who visits your website. But I'm sure there's some, ideally, you would also add the EOT version as well, just for maximum coverage so that the most amount of people will see your custom font being used. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up right now with a name. Okay, so that was fast. Now we just need to go ahead and upload our font. Now I actually only have a TTF font because I'm probably not that prepared for this video, but that's okay. You'll get the point. You click on upload. Now here's one of the caveats. If I click on select files right here, what's going to end up happening is WordPress is, you know, I'm looking through the files on my computer. WordPress is not going to want me to upload one of these font files. It's just looking for certain file types. So what you're going to have to do is just kind of do a drag and drop thing. So I have my file browser right here and I'm just dragging and dropping my font in and bam, it goes and accepts my font. So now I'll click on select and you can see my custom font is there. All I have to do is click on add new font now and there it is. So now it's going to be available in my theme and in the page builder. And let me show you that. So first I'll show you in the page builder and then I'll show you in the theme and then I'm going to switch the theme to beaver builder and you'll see it there as well. Okay. So, um, let's see, uh, how about this one right here? I was actually using this in a video I made yesterday about inline editing. Let's jump into Beaver Builder right here. Now I actually haven't even tested this in Beaver Builder, so I'm kind of living on the edge. So I'm clicking this existing headline. I'm going to go ahead and click on style. And then right here where it says font, I'll click on that. And let me scroll all the way to the a top and you can see it's now listed right there underneath the system setting. It's being a little cut off here. So I can just click on it and now it's changed to my custom font. You saw how easy that was. I love that. So let me just go ahead and click on done and click on publish. And that is now a done deal. So let's go ahead and jump into the customizer. Uh, actually here I should just go back and then jump into the customizer right on this page. And you're going to see in the Astra theme, I just have the free version of the Astra theme. I already have it loaded up. So I can just click on topography. I can click on base topography. And then right here for my headings, I could go ahead and scroll all the way to the top. And here it is under custom fonts. And there it is. It's going to now make all of the headings that I use on this website this custom font. So let me go ahead and click on publish. Now, and I haven't tested this myself. Now let's see what happens when I switch my theme to the Beaver Builder theme. I'm going to go to appearance themes. And here it is. I'm going to click on activate. And then I'm going to go to that same page just to play it safe because I know what's on it. Let's see, I'm going to click on view and now I'm going to go into the customizer for the Beaver Builder theme. All right, jumping in here. I haven't used the Beaver Builder theme in a little bit. So I'm assuming, let's see, where are my fonts? It's probably going to be under general. Uh, let's see, headings. Wow, I've got a good memory. Uh, so that's how it's organized here in the Beaver Builder theme. We have um, this as our font family, but there it is the custom font that's right there underneath the system fonts. And so now I can easily add these custom fonts using just putting them in one location, just put them in this custom fonts plugin and it's going to carry over and be pushed into as an option into Astra or Beaver Builder. And it's also going to be pushed into the free version of Beaver Builder or the paid version of Beaver Builder. I mean, it's perfect, right? So the same process is, is goes into effect if you want to use a custom type kit font. Now, prior to this, there was, of course, ways of doing this, but you had to have lots of snippets of codes. Things could break. It was you had to add it to the page builder and then add it to the theme. There was no easy way. Now there is an easy way to do it. So if you don't have Astra, you want to look into it. It's just wpcrafter.com slash Astra. It's free. They also have a pro add on. That's only $59. If you don't have Beaver Builder and want to check that out, it's wpcrafter.com slash Beaver Builder. Those links actually don't take you to those websites. They take you back to my website where I have some special trainings I've put together for you. If you decided that you wanted to go ahead and get those products, I got all those, all that information on those links. Now, I want to ask you, 
What are some great resources for custom fonts on the internet? There's websites for free custom fonts and paid custom fonts. Uh, what are your experiences with these websites? If you would care to share down below in the comment section some of these different resources that you have come across, uh, I think that would be awesome. And also, if you know of any great font pairs that look together to really leverage this new feature of custom fonts, I would love to hear from you. Hey, thanks for all your support on this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.